Don't you know we got trolls in this watching this channel? YouTube, it's Master Aquatics, and I'm bringing you guys another video. All right, let's get right into the video. So I got some stuff that I need to unbox for you guys. Well, these are for me, but I got to unbox my items with you guys so you guys know what I'm getting for my tanks. Now, this stuff here is for that tank right there. This is my new 29 gallon tank. I'm going to go ahead and set this bad boy up. I'm also going to show you guys how I set up my aquariums and take you guys on a ride with me. Let's do this. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my aquarium. Before I paint my aquarium, I always put some blue tape so that way I don't paint the uh, black rim. Um, if your tank doesn't have one, then you can skip this step. Um, so yeah, just all around it. Um, I have black paint that I got prepared right now, although it doesn't look like I have enough black paint. So I'm only going to paint the bottom part black, and then I'm going to paint the sides orange. Now a lot of people have told me in the past, orange is not going to look good on an aquarium. And I can see why some of you wouldn't agree with the color orange, but I'm going to try it. And I want to see how it looks for myself. Alright, so enough chit chat. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing painted in one, two, three. Alright, guys, so I ended up painting my aquarium. I can't touch it right now because it's wet. Right now, I just need to wait for it to dry. I also want to mention that I just ended up mixing the black and the orange, and it kind of gave me like a dark, well, it's, it's kind of like a brownish color, but for the most part, it's black. Anyways, the reason why I paint the backgrounds of my aquarium is so that my angelfish feel secure. That's why I do it. Anyways, while this is drying up, let's go ahead and unbox my goodies. Alright, first thing I'm going to open is this yellow package. Let's get into it. Alright, so out of the yellow package, we got some more Pima Fix. I'm really starting to like this stuff. By the way guys, uh, everything in this video, I have a link in the description. So if you want to buy these items, check the description. Anyways, second box we are going to open is this white box. Let's do it! Alright, 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 what do we got here? We got some more baby food for the baby angelfish, some baby brine shrimp. I always order this from Amazon. This is the San Francisco Bay brand. These have helped my angels grow so much and I've been using them since 2014. So I highly recommend this baby brand. Uh, I highly recommend this baby brine shrimp if you're going to breed angelfish. All right, second thing we got in here is some airline tubing. We also got some more Prime. I always have Prime on deck. I try not to run out of this because this thing is a lifesaver and you need this when you do your water changes. Um, fish tanks and Prime, they go hand in hand together. You can't have one without the other. And then just an empty box with some shipping material. All right, next box. Let's do it. Alright, I also ordered some sponge filters. These are the XY380 and the instructions are in Chinese, not Japanese. A lot of people corrected me last time. So I just want to point out that the instructions are in Chinese, not Japanese. So I got two sponge filters and I also got an air pump. Again, I also got an air pump. This is the Unisea Life air pump. I love these air pumps. They're really quiet. Um, the longest one that I've had is about five months since I made this video that you see here in the bottom right corner. And it's been quiet since then, so I highly recommend these. I wouldn't recommend these if I, if I didn't use them myself. Now, this 29 gallon tank is not really a special tank for me. I'm not really going to be focusing on it too much. I just want it to be like a uh, quarantine tank or a tank for a breeding pair. Um, so I didn't go all out on the lighting. I just got a simple basic uh, hood light. 
and uh, you can also get this in the description as well the link is down there and I also got me a preset heater but it looks like Aquion now is starting to make the heaters uh, preset to the right temperature so it says here it's preset to 78 degrees Fahrenheit so pretty much what that means is is that you can't mess around with it and raise the temperature up or lower the temperature um, which can take the brain work out of you know messing with your thermometer or whatever it does it for you so anyways um, all this stuff is for the new tank that I just painted as soon as it dries I'm going to go ahead and set up my tank um, now what am I going to put in that tank? Well for right now I just want to move these two into the 29 gallon tank. Uh, they are in a 20 gallon tank right now, but it's it's too small for them and I really want to give them a better home. So I want to give them a 29 gallon tank just for another week or so until you know I'm done watching them and making sure they don't have any diseases or parasites. And then I'll move them into my big aquarium, I'll move them into my 125 gallon tank. And then what I will be doing in this tank is I'll probably be raising another batch of angelfish fry. Um, I'm not sure. If you guys prefer that I would get some more fish for this tank, let me know. But for right now, my mind is uh, set on raising baby angelfish in this tank. So let me know. All right, guys. So I waited about a day, and I let this thing dry, and it is now pretty dry. It's mainly just black. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it in my living room and we're going to get this bad boy all set up. As you can see, uh, no paint on my hands. So we're good. Now I do have these brand new uh, sponge filters and I'm going to be putting two sponge filters in here. But one of the sponge filters is going to be one of the new ones that I just ordered. And I'm going to be using one of the sponge filters here in my 20 gallon tank because it's already cycled and has the biological bacteria that I need in order to get that tank cycled and ready to go. All right, guys, so I, f I finally got my first sponge filter connected. Now it's a little dark, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox the lighting for this tank so you guys can see what I'm doing. Let's get this light out. Again, one-handed. This should be a challenge for a lot of YouTubers. Now this hood, this light fixture, does come with a light bulb. Um, it just comes with a normal fluorescent light. And here it is. I don't have a lid for this tank. I'm not going to put a lid on this tank. And let's go ahead, get this plugged in so you guys can see what this light is all about. Ta-da! All right, my toes have disappeared and you can now see the inside of the aquarium. Obviously, it's not filled up, but we are getting to that. So stay tuned, guys. Let's finish up this tank. All right, guys, finally got everything in there. Got my heater in there. You can see my heater right there and then I got my sponge filter sponge filter and then I got my lighting right there um, so everything's in place this is gonna be a bare bottom tank uh, this tank is gonna be either like a quarantine tank or it's going to be a tank for repair um, yeah now we just gotta wait for it to fill up I'm not gonna put any fish in there today I will be soon I don't know yet maybe you guys can help me on that you guys can tell me what kind of fish I should put in there or if I should put a angelfish pair in there while this is filling up let me show you guys my seven angelfish as of right now so they were just taking a nap but uh I just turned the light on on them and they are growing big they are getting really big you can really see them now you can see their fins you can see their colors uh, they're not the best looking angelfish uh, color wise, but fin wise, uh, they do look pretty good in my opinion. I feel like their fins are really good. But yeah, I mean, they're just eating flakes. They haven't really been fed bloodworms or anything like that. So, yeah, I just wanted to give a quick update on these guys. Alright, guys, so we're off to a good start. So, I got everything hooked up. Got my sponge filter hooked up. As usual, one of the sponge filters doesn't blow as much bubbles as the other one. 
Don't know why this always happens to me, it always does. I'm pretty sure I'm setting up these things correctly. Uh, I haven't plugged in the heater yet. Um, I'm going to leave it in the water for about 20 minutes and then I'll go ahead and plug it up. Plus I'm not putting any fish in here today so I don't really need that heater on right now. Um, what I really just need is just for the biological um, filtration to start kicking in because I believe it was that sponge filter that was from a from the 20 gallon tank so I just need that to do its job for about a day or two and then I'll go ahead and add some fish in here but anyways let's go check out the new fish that I just got All right, so again just doing another quick little update on my new fish they're doing great I actually gotta feed them right now um, but they haven't been fed all day alright so look at that look how excited they get whenever I feed them there you go little guys eat it up Make those adorable little cute sucking sounds that you guys do. I think angelfish are usually the ones that make that sound. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but... <laughs> Look at him go. These guys are amazing. I really enjoy these guys. I'm really glad that I got these. Alright, so, I mean, I guess that's the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the footage. My name is Master Aquatics, and I'll see you guys in the next video really soon. Take care, and bye-bye. Thank you, young God, for the blessing, ayy. Hey.